Wait, wasn't I supposed to do a Connects review like four years ago? Connects. Well, I guess it's a good thing I waited then because that means I get to do this review on their silver anniversary. Hey everybody, this is Kodak here, and today we're going to be talking about Connects. Debuting in 1992, Connects is a color-coded, strut-based building system that uses a small variety of highly versatile parts to enable you to build large and impressive structures. And to celebrate their 25th anniversary, Connects sent me this, the 3-in-1 Classic Amusement Park set, which is a remake of a set that they originally came out with back in 1999. Now, an interesting thing about this set and about Connects as a whole is that they try to keep as much of their manufacturing work in the United States as possible, as in this set is 99% American-made parts, the only exception being the engine, because, quick crash course on world economics here, China does such incredibly high volume of electric motors that it is financially impossible to really economically make your own motors anywhere else. Now, Kinex is regularly compared to Lego, and I guess you can say that based on the fact that it's a building toy, but when you think about it, you can build out of nearly anything. HA! However, the two are actually very different. Lego is definitely better at generating aesthetics than Kinex is, but Kinex is far better when it comes to function. Like, the unique color-coded pieces means that it is very easy to find what you are looking for in a bag. Like, you know how a Lego set will have like six or seven different bags to make sure that you can keep track as you go. I'm not lying when I say this entire gigantic Ferris wheel came in a single bag and was still a cinch to put together. That is Kinex's niche, and they are kind of at their pinnacle when they're doing things like this that are highly technical and complicated. Things like architecture, or thrill rides, or robots, or things like that. Things that LEGO might have a difficult time doing. Like, this flag here isn't placed arbitrarily, it is actually the top of this flag is how tall the LEGO Ferris wheel is. So not only is this Ferris wheel way bigger than basically anything LEGO has come out with, it is also one quarter the price. This set, for the most part, in most places, is available for $50 to $55. And it has two alternate builds. Speaking of something that LEGO has kind of been, uh, been slacking on recently, they've provided instructions for additional builds for this thing, so you can also make it into a swing ride or a boom ride with all the same parts because they have made these parts so amazingly versatile. They also have a crazy, gigantic, six-foot-tall Ferris wheel, and yes, you can buy it for like $450. Although I guess if there's one thing that they share with LEGO, it's the fact that they have two different sizes of construction parts. They have the classic connects, which are these large ones that the Ferris wheel is made out of, and they also have the mini connects, which is what the American flag and parts of the Scorpion are made out of, although they have plenty of adapters so that you could connect the two together. Now the mini connects are a bit newer, and what they allow connects to do is make a lot of their structures lighter and cheaper, especially in the case of the roller coasters. The original Kinex roller coaster was this massive ordeal, but these days you can find a micro Kinex roller coaster for under $30. Now, while I think that Kinex is at their best when they're at this kind of raw form based on the pure function, creating things like thrill rides and robots, they have kind of been branching out. They've picked up some licenses, like they have the Nintendo license, they've got a Hasbro license recently, and something else that they've been making recently that they sent me a few months ago was this uh, K-Force uh, dart gun, where you actually make a dart gun out of Kinex. And while that sounds really cool, I don't know if I'm a very big fan of this, because... All you're really building is the outer casing, like all of the, everything in here, like the spring, the firing mechanism, that is all already installed in this thing, and you're just kind of building a fancy trigger to uh, pull it. And uh, that's kind of evident in the fact that one of this set's alt modes is literally just a smaller pistol with the remaining parts being used to build a target to shoot at. And for the price, I'd say get a Nerf rival. Although something interesting about these sets is that they actually have recolors of a lot of the classic parts. So Kinex is trying to branch out a bit more into aesthetics, even if it does make their sets a bit more difficult to build. Although if they ever do make any kind of like a set like this that actually has you building the actual fire mechanism, like I said, that just that's just kind of the essence of Kinex is that you build these technological marvels and you understand how they work in the process of building them. So I really hope we can see some more of that someday. So this is uh, a look at Kinex. I really like how they do their amusement rides. I really like how they do their robots. They are 
a huge crowd pleaser when it comes to Christmas toys because of just how large they are. If I had any problem with this 3-in-1 set, it's the fact that the Boom Rides instructions, you have to find them online, and online instructions can be a bit of a pain in the butt, but that's really about it. This thing, for 50 bucks is absolutely incredible since you can remake it into several different things, and because the system is so simple and flexible, you could probably figure out even more things to make with this set. So, uh... That's a look at Connects, and until next time, this is Kodak signing off. Hmm, you know, for the silver anniversary, I wonder what would happen if I installed the high-speed silver engine. I have made a terrible mistake!